God's story, Moses. So part of God's story is about a guy named Moses, and it begins like this. When Moses was born, God's special family, the Israelites, were living in Egypt as slaves. But there were so many Israelites that Pharaoh, Egypt's ruler, was afraid they might attack him. So he ordered that they work extra hard and made a law that all new baby boys had to be killed. Well, baby Moses' mom didn't want him to die, so she came up with a plan. She put him in a waterproof basket and hid it in the Nile River. Before long, Pharaoh's daughter, the princess, showed up. She found the basket and realized Moses was one of the babies her dad was trying to kill. But instead of hurting Moses, she adopted him. He grew up in the palace like a prince. Now Moses should have felt really special and loved, but he felt bad that his people were slaves while he lived in the palace. So he ran away and tried to help them. Problem is, they didn't want a prince around. Moses didn't feel like he belonged anywhere, so he ran away again. This time, he went to a place called Midian. There, he married a lady named Zipporah and worked for her dad, Jethro. One day, he was taking care of Jethro's sheep when he saw a bush on fire. As Moses looked more closely, the inside of the bush called out, Moses, Moses. Kids, would you answer a burning bush that yells your name? Well, Moses did. He said, here I am. Then the bush introduced itself. It was God appearing as fire. And God told Moses that he could see how his family was suffering as slaves. Since God loves his family, he wanted to rescue them through Moses. Now you'd think Moses would be excited since he had wanted to help his people, but he wasn't. He didn't think he was special enough to get a job from God. He said, why me? God reminded him, I'll be with you. He even told Moses exactly what to say to the Egyptians. But Moses didn't think anyone would believe that God had appeared to a regular guy like him, a guy who didn't even belong anywhere. So God gave Moses three miracles to prove that God was with him. First, God let Moses turn his staff into a snake and back. Next, Moses put his hand in his cloak. It came out with leprosy. Then he did it again to cure it. Finally, God showed Moses how to turn water into blood. But even after God showed him all this, Moses was still afraid that nobody would listen to him. I don't talk well, he said. I stutter and stammer. Then God asked Moses, who makes a man able to talk? God is the one who makes us. And he wanted Moses to remember that and trust him. But Moses begged, please send anybody else. Fortunately, God loves us even when we're afraid to trust him and we don't realize how special we are to him. He let Moses bring his brother Aaron along to do the talking. After that, Moses finally realized he belonged in God's family. He didn't have to run away anymore, so he obeyed God and followed him. He took his wife and sons to Egypt to tell the Israelites that God was going to rescue them. The Israelites believed that God was with Moses, and they were so excited to be rescued that they worshiped God right away. And that's the story of Moses. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God's family lived in Egypt. They were slaves. Pharaoh said baby boys must die. Moses' mom had a plan. Moses was adopted. He ran away. Moses returned to his people. He ran away. God appeared as fire. Moses argued with God. Finally, Moses obeyed. He knew he belonged in God's family. And that's a part of God's story.